In this exquisite video, we will be looking at 15 egg cons. Words, phrases that people say incorrectly in place of other words or phrases. Let's jump right in. Number one, for all intensive purposes. No, it should be for all intents and purposes. It means in every practical sense, the result or situation is effectively the same as the one described. For example, for all intents and purposes, the new policy is already in effect, even though the official rollout is next week. Number two, I hear a number of people say, make do. <laughs> no, it should be make do it means to manage with the limited or inadequate resources available for example times are tough but we have to make do with a smaller budget this year number three you've got another thing coming <laughs> no it should be you've got another thing coming it implies that someone is mistaken if they believe something will happen as they expect. For example, if you believe you can stay out all night without consequences, you've got another thing coming. Number four, a great deal of people spell this wrongly because somehow it sounds alike. Through up, through up. This is the correct one. For example, after eating too much chocolate, the child fell sick and threw up. Number five, toe the line. It should be toe the line. It implies to conform to rules or standards or to behave in an expected manner, especially by showing discipline or obedience. For example, students who don't toe the line will face detention. All these phrases are called egg cones. They are words, phrases that are incorrectly used for something similar to the words of phrases. Let's look at number six. Number six, wet your whistle. It should be wet your whistle. It means to take a drink, specifically an alcoholic one. For example, Let's wet our whistles before we sit down for dinner. Due diligence. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> it should be due diligence. It means a standard of care that a reasonable person would take before entering into an agreement or transaction. For example, before purchasing, the company, the investors, performed due diligence to examine its financial health and legal standing. I bet you must have heard people say coming down the pipe. No, it should be coming down the pike. Well, it is an idiom that means something is approaching or will happen soon. For example, New advancements in AI are coming down the pike, promising to revolutionize various industries. Number nine, or for not. A great deal of people spell this wrongly. It should be or for not, meaning all efforts, time, or resources put into something were wasted or yielded no results. For example, the team played their hearts out but their efforts were all for naught when they lost in the final minutes. Number 10, mute point. Of course, you guess right. It should be moot point. A moot point refers to a topic or issue that is debatable, irrelevant, or no longer important because it has been resolved or is hypothetical. For example, arguing about who was the better player is a moot point now that the season is over and the trophy has been awarded. Number 11, 
pick my interests sound right but incorrect pick my interest it means to arouse or stimulate someone's curiosity or interest for example the trailer for the new mystery series picked my interest and i can't wait to watch the first episode number 12 sneak peek can you find the error of course the spelling it should be sneak peek hmm quite confusing isn't it it is a quick or brief look at something that is not fully available to the public for example the company gave a sneak peek of their new product line to a selected group of influencers before the official launch let's look at number 13. number 13 old wise tale sounds perfect but wrong it should be old wife's tale did you spot the difference it implies a traditional belief or superstition that is often passed down through generations these tales are typically based on folklore rather than scientific for example going outside with wet hair will make you catch a cold i know that saying is just an old wives tale without no scientific basis number 14 statue of limitation it should be statute of limitation it means the maximum period of time after an event within which legal proceedings may be initiated once this period expires claims or charges cannot be brought forward for example the lawyer advised checking the statute of limitations to ensure that the lawsuit was filed in a timely manner number 15 you hear people say this word voila it should be voila meaning there it is or there you go it is a french term it's often used to draw attention to something that has been completed or to emphasize the successful outcome of an action for example i added a sprinkle of herbs to the dish and voila dinner was ready i trust that you got value do well to like share comment and subscribe to our exquisite channel i'll see you in my next video bye for now